this is Shana Kega of Yama Bonsai Studio. Welcome to another episode of the Bonsai Academy. Today we will be working this spruce or Picea abius Yamadori. This is a Yamadori originated from the south of France, from the Alps. Um, and today we're going to search for the best front of this tree and I'm going to style this because this is a customer tree. Uh, what are the points that we need to search? We need to search for beautiful bark, a good root spread or a nice nebari, uh, possibly some jeans or some shari, the tree that's going to the front to welcome the, the person be, uh, that's looking to the tree and a nice branch structure. So if you can see here we have a little problem and that is the root coming from here and this is a big bulb. So that's something we need to hide and we can hide this in the future by adding an accent plant over here or adding a rock or something. If you can see here, the tree is going to the back and then coming nicely to the front, coming to the back and coming nicely to the front as well. So in my opinion, this would be a beautiful front. Why? Because of the position of the tree, because of beautiful movement, because of the wide base, because of the shari over here that you can see and this, these nice jeans and because of the branch position. Because here we can have a nice first branch, one over here, one over here, back branch over here. So this will more or less will be the front of this tree. So we have chosen the front of this tree and it will be more or less around there. So then we will start with the branch structure and we have a beautiful first branch aligning from there. Uh, so we need to decide now which we're going to wire together with each other. So first I wire the primary branches and this one is the same size as this one more or less. And with copper, we need to use one fourth of the thickness of the branch. So I have these, uh, this five uh, size, five uh, millimeter in size that I can use for this branch and this branch to wire together. Very important to, to uh, when you wire this to have tension. So if I'm going to wire this one uh, clockwise, then I need to wire this one uh, counterclockwise to create tension because then we can uh, wire this branch into a beautiful shape. And also when you wire, try to wire 45 degrees or more because that will look much better and will be easier to wire and to bend the branch. So we will start, I always start by measuring how much we need and then I can cut it off. Very important is always to start with your anchor point first. So Always wire at the shoulder, never at the armpit of the branch, as I call it. So if you can see now we have our anchor point and now I can wire this branch completely. Always when you have to have your hand here to follow the branch and for the safety of the branch and try to take your wire as far as possible and try to wire with your index finger. So try to not make any holes with the wire between the branch because then the branch can snap when you're bending it. And as I told you, try to wire 45 degrees or even further. top now or the apex. Uh, as you can see the tree is a little bit too high so we're going to try to compact it a little bit more. So what we can do is we can use a guy wire. Uh, we're going to attach it somewhere around here and then we can use this jean to 
to compact it a little bit more and bend it more. So let me check. Okay. Oh. Errors. <laughs> Okay, so if you can see, we have a pretty interesting movement and we're going to make our apex more or less around here so that we have a good balanced tree over there. Uh, okay, I'm going to bend a little bit more because I think if we bend a little bit more it will be even more compact and more beautiful. Going to make it a little bit more proper and more beautiful by winding this up. And then the apex will go lower as well. Now we can wire these branches a little bit more out, spread our apex over here, and we have a beautiful tree.
Yes, exactly. So we're finished uh, with the styling of this tree. As you see, we have chosen a new front where the base is wider, where we have beautiful uh, gnarly bark, where we have beautiful dead wood at some spots and a nice movement because the tree is going to the front, to the back, to the front, to the back and to the front again. What is very important with bonsai because your, your tree has to go a little bit to the viewer or has to go, uh, has to greet the, the person who's watching at the tree. As you can see, we have made a big uh, foliage cloud over here with some open spaces, what is very important. It's very important to see at one third of the tree uh, the tashagari, and that means from the root base until the first branch, you need to see the trunk. Then we have made a picture portrait or a frame around the most interesting part. So you can see this movement, you can see a little bit this movement and a little bit in the top. So at two thirds, you can, uh, you can hide uh, some parts of the trunk with foliage. And then at the apex, at uh, three thirds, the apex will mostly be hidden. Uh, in future, it will grow out more. The foliage clouds will get a little bit more dense and get more ramification as well. What we need to do uh, around November or something, uh, we can make a, a bud selection so that we don't get too many shoots at one point. So these buds, we also need to uh, uh, alternate so that we have one left, right, left, right, just like our branches. Why is this important? Because otherwise we don't get any taper and taper is very important. So we create a taper in this trunk as well, what's very important, then we created balance in the tree. And balance, creating balance in the tree is very important as well. So that's why our apex is more into this side. So the tree goes a little bit more to there and with the first branch going to there, the, the flow of the tree is, is heading towards uh, the right side. So what was also quite important was that we think this beautiful branch needs to be visible a little bit because it has some nice movement into it and then uh, spread all those branches out. Uh, very important after working on this tree is that you spray water on the foliage because our hands have uh, acids and salts, what's not very healthy for this tree. So every time when you work on a spruce, it's very important that you water the foliage mass of the tree. Also water the tree because these trees, they like moist. They like to be in full sun. They like to be most moist. So that's very important. So uh, now the tree can rest and in three years we can repot it into this position into a new pot or this pot depends which one suits better the tree is quite massive so i think this same old pot old uh, tokonami pot will fit with this tree as well um that's it for now next year uh, we can break the new shoots or pinch the new shoots a little bit to get more ramification to create more dense foliage clouds as well uh, or what you also can do is you let these shoots grow until five centimeters and then you cut back until two buds of the new growth. So that's a possibility as well. But that are things we will explain in the near future. Hope to see you guys around here. Uh, thank you very much for watching.